Hello, it's Pirenko from Team Forest, and with this video, I want to show you the Gusto theme options. Um, so you can access the options um, with this uh, with this button or with this button here. So um, I just want to really to show you uh, generally the options. I'm not going to test them. Um, let's just assume that they are working because they are. Um, so starting on the general tab, you can turn on or off the responsiveness. You can turn on or off the retina detection. You can also adjust the center area width. This one I'm going to show you. Uh, so for instance, at this moment, you can see the width of the, the center part is, uh, is this size. And I'm just going to reduce it a lot so that you can see the difference. And I'm going to save. And now I'm going to refresh this page, and uh, this whole section will be less wide. So, as you can see, um, we reduced it uh, substantially, and obviously, you can in increase this to um, big enough value so that it, it always scales no matter what screen size you are. I'm using this value as a default um, because I, I think we should stop scaling at this point, but uh, it's up to you to decide. Um, you can also turn on or off the IAX calls to load content and some of the animations and transitions that the website um, shows when the page loads can also be turned off here. Um, these elements can also be, or these animations can also be um, configured on, on each page so you can turn this off but on certain pages you can have some sort of animations on so this is kind of the default um, behavior for, for, for some of the theme content you can also change uh, the fonts here you can add unlimited uh, fonts if you want from the Google directory the documentation explains how uh, I have included, I think, uh, around 60 or 70, something, something like that, fonts for you to choose. Um, so it's, it's really simple to, to change them here. Um, in terms of colors, um, well, we have a lot of options here. Um, colors, opacities, uh, backgrounds, patterns. Um, it's easy to add patterns, you just... Um, um, upload your images into a certain folder and the theme will auto auto detect them you have the the path to that folder here um, there's also here the option for the individual posts to have special colors you can turn that on or off here and also decide if you want the header and footer to change colors dynamically what I'm talking about in this case is um, let me refresh the page. Um, <clears throat> is this is this feature? So at this moment, the um, green is the default, the featured color. But when you when you go, for instance, here to this post, um, the color changes. It's because this post has a custom uh, featured color, and you can turn this feature, uh, this coloring feature, on or off here. Um, so I, I don't really want to show you or go through all of these options, but as you can see, you can change uh, all the colors of the theme, the lines, the shadows, text fields, everything is here. <clears throat> also the buttons, you can uh, make them round or not and uh, use this uh, inner shadow if you want. Uh, the portfolio also, the, the sliders, you can change all the colors here. The preloader that shows on, on top here um, and also the sidebar options they are also here you have also the option to hide the revolution slider on smaller screens if you want turning on or off the sidebars uh, and some more colors here for this uh, right bar so you can change all of these on this general tab um, the branding tab is where you put your logos and the favicon image Nothing special here. The menu bar, it's, it's this uh, bar here on top. You can change the, um, the height, the regular height and the collapsed height. You can change it here 
Also, you can change completely the colors and set up the opacity for the, um, for the menu. And uh, once again, there are a lot, a lot of options here in terms of colors and for the submenus also. The header bar is this small bar here on, on uh, sorry, <clears throat> this small bar here on top. You can also turn it on or off here. And um, if you have it on, you have the, you can define the height. Once again, change the colors, the background color. Use these icons um, if you want to and paste your text there and also the social networks icons and links that you see here on the right side they are configured sorry they are configured here on the header bar and for the footer once again uh, options for for colors and uh, for the this extra section here under you also can also have uh, custom colors and the text everything is set up here and just one little thing that I want to tell you is uh, there's this um, the footer has this um, I think it's cool this revealing effect with fade and the footer stays fixed if you don't like it it's just as simple as coming here and say you don't want this position fixed <clears throat> sorry and when you save the options and I'm going to reload the page and the footer now should behave uh, kind of the, the normal normal way let's say like this so now the footer is not fixed, it's it's behaving like, like we usually see them. So but I'm going to turn it on again. And um, let me just save the options. Okay, and uh, as for the blog, <clears throat> you can uh, for the blog you can set up a specific uh, maximum width for, for single posts. It's for, for pages like this. I, I I prefer to limit the width here, but you can you if you want them to go uh, totally wide, you can also do that here. So it's up to you. And uh, you have here more options for the for the archives page. You can also um, set up the the type of uh, layout that you want to use. Uh, a lot of things that you can turn on on or off here: the dates, the posted by text, the categories display. The, the next and previous links, so a lot of things that can be turned on and off here and uh, the same goes for the sharing buttons. The portfolio is similar, the portfolio tab is similar to the blog. Um, basically just selecting the archives page and um, turning on or off uh, certain information display. And once again the sharing uh, buttons options. Also the translations tab on where if you if you don't uh, use any plugin for this or you are just going to use a single image uh, sorry a single language um, I think you should just translate everything here using the theme options so you can find all the, all the translations here uh, and it's the easiest way to, to translate everything uh, if you are going to use more than one um, language you should turn this um, option on in this case if, in this case when you turn this on these options here will be ignored and the theme will search for for or WPML plugin or for translations using that that uh, mo and .po files um, so you have these, these ways of translating um, if WooCommerce is active you'll have this extra tab that has some some options here also so basically a subheading for those uh, pages like the shop um, um, for instance this page here has this subheading so you can set it up here and uh, the sidebar option uh, if you want to add some information to the main menu of, of your cart what information should be displayed there and um, if the cart should be uh, shown uh, even when it's empty the cart information um, finally um, you can add some custom scripts uh, to the theme. This is good for Google Analytics a code, custom CSS if you want to, and some custom JavaScript also. And finally, uh, you can change the, the, um, 
the way the, the slugs or the URLs if you prefer um, that the theme uses on portfolios um, on slides and on members so you can set up all those slugs here um, and um, that's it sorry for the long video thank you very much for watching